Oh crap. Everyone move out! Run to protect my vicious hate scum! What? Are you motherfucking kidding me? Oh shit! Why is it always the motherfucking apes? Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So, this film is about when James Franco creates this drug where he could give this chimp the ability to have the intelligence of a human. He takes this chimp, Cesar, as if it was his own child, but he is forced to keep Cesar in the sanctuary. So, while in the sanctuary, Cesar comes up with a way for all chimps or apes to have justice. Before I review this film, my guest star, Sir Ty Jensen, is going to review this film. So, Ty, take it away, dude. Hi guys, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is a reboot of the Apes franchise starring James Franco. A scientist is trying to cure Alzheimer's and he adopts an ape. Alright, I'm going to quickly talk about the franchise. The original is good, I've seen it only once. I already knew about the twist ending, no big deal. I haven't seen Beneath for a battle yet. The remake is the first one I've seen, I've seen it ten years ago. I want to give it another shot. I mean, I know a lot of people hate it, yet it made a lot of money, so it has its fans. I might as well say I'm a huge Mark Warburg fan. JW Universe recently talked about these movies. He gave the remake another shot. He likes it. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is good. The story, acting, and effects are good. Maybe the odd person thinks the story is groundbreaking. I know, a random thought. It's loosely based on conquest. Everyone did well. Nobody phoned it in. The effects are digital, but it's actually a good thing. It's a huge improvement over, over the other movies that paused. I, I'm sorry, you know, the word original popped in. Well, anyway, the apes actually look like apes. They're not humans dressed up as apes, and well, it, it's not a bad art. Caesar's our ape protagonist. He gradually becomes intelligent and loses his faith in humanity. He's an interesting character. He's easily likable and sympathetic. He may be an ape, but, well, you, you root for him. You want to know him. You don't want him to get hurt. Annie Circus plays him, he's a mocap guy. Mocap's really powerful stuff. He played Gollum in Lord of the Rings, that was his breakthrough role. Was it his first? I, I don't know, I'll look it up. He's in two 2015 movies, Star Wars 7 and Avengers Age of Ultron. Will Rodman's a human protagonist. He's so likable and caring. Well, James Franco is likable. I'm sure he wouldn't want to play Will if he were despicable. He wants to cure Alzheimer's because his dad is Alzheimer's. He adopts Caesar out of love, out of compassion. He loves Caesar as a son. He loves Caesar and Caesar loves him. Maybe the odd person feels he's bland. Well, that's fine. He has enough personality. He's not really deaf, but well, he's likable. That's all that counts. Tom Felton Draco Malfoy plays Dodge, a cruel caretaker. Did he want to play this character? Has Hollywood typecasted him as a bully? Yeah, he was good. He can easily play bullies. I love to see him play a good guy. It's probably worth mentioning he and Daniel Radcliffe are buddies. Rise of the Planet of the Apes gets a B. I guess it goes without saying, you don't have to be a science fiction fan to enjoy this. If you like James Franco, you should see it. So tell me, have you seen Rise? Did you like it or hate it? I'm honestly not excited for Dawn. I'm only curious. I guess I'll see it in the cinema. Well, thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for allowing me to collaborate with you again. Shooting this was a real bitch in the ass. Okay, that was so weird, so random. I don't know, barbaric, just perverted. Look, I'm sorry. Well, bye. Thank you so much, Sir Ty Jensen, for reviewing Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This is such a well-crafted film. The visuals on the apes look absolutely amazing. They look so real, very well detailed, and also very creepy. They, the filmmakers know how to make the apes just look so menacing. And all I could say is that I don't want any of those apes near me. I don't want them to go all ape shit on me. James Franco does a really good job here. We also have John Lithgow, Brian Cox, Tom Felton. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Draco, he is in here. And of course, he's a douchebag. That seems to be the role he plays in most movies. He does a really good job here. I hate his character, but of course you're supposed to hate him. And he does a really good job of making you just hate his character. The cinematography for the film looks really good. There's very beautiful scenery when you're at the ape's sanctuary or like when the 
apes are ruling the world. There is a lot of heart to this film, surprisingly. You really feel so bad for Cesar, and you can see where he's coming from, and you can see why Cesar wants the apes at that sanctuary to be free and have justice and rule against the humans pretty much, but you could see where Cesar is coming from because obviously he's treated badly and the humans, you do not mess with an ape. You just don't. The thing about this movie is that the apes don't really escape until the final like 10 or 15 minutes, which is really ironic to me because the whole plot is they're supposed to escape, this and that, but surprisingly, you only get the final 10 minutes of them actually escaping and you know just ruling the planet and destroying stuff and that's where one of my flaws with the film does come in while the final 10 minutes trust me that was some serious awesome shit right there i love the final 10 minutes it was really good it was well choreographed i wish it would happen at least in the final 30 minutes i think it would have been more satisfying and it would have given us a longer conclusion of them ruling the world it would have added more epicness to it and i did feel like there was a moment where the film does drag but the film has really good substance, the tone is really good. It's definitely the right tone you need for the reboot to get started. You learn about Cesar and you can really tell James Franco cared about Cesar and I really love the human element of James Franco. I thought he and Cesar just had very great chemistry. I also really enjoyed the scene where Cesar is actually helping John Lithgow because John Lithgow with his character being elderly he really needs a lot of help. The movie does a really, really splendid job of introducing the characters, making you care for the characters, making you at the edge of your seat, especially in that final 10 minutes. The storyline is well written. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is just a really fun movie. This is an outstanding movie, actually. I loved almost every moment of the film. I wish the apes escaped at least in the final 30 minutes instead of the final 10 minutes. And there was a moment where the film did drag for me. But overall, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is freaking amazing. And I'm going to give the film three and a half out of four stars. I want to thank Sir Ty Jensen for guest starring in this movie review to give his thoughts on Rise of the Planet of the Apes. He's a very nice guy, very funny too. Please check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description below. And if you don't, apes are going to go after you. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!